Hey guys, I just ran the first part on the Precision Matthews. I had a gentleman email me a while back and ask if I could uh, machine him a short case ramp for a uh, MRB brass annealing machine. Uh, the original ones that come on the annealer are plastic and he was having some issues with his melting so he asked if I could machine one and so I thought this was a good project for the first part made on the Precision Matthews. Uh, I'm pretty satisfied overall with the way it turned out. I did run into some issues that I had to uh, kind of figure out. So it's going to take a while to get some of the bugs worked out. But I did this in two setups. Uh, one like this and then I stood it up to finish out the ramp section here. And uh, shot some video on that so let's take a look.
right, these are the first cuts. First part made with the PM727M. It could use a new drill, a uh, new end mill. And I've noticed that there's some shuttering going on. Some it seems like it doesn't seem to be doing it when it's cutting, uh, taking a deep cut or not. It just seems to be happening. There might be something in my configuration that needs to be. I'll have to look in there and see what's going on with that. All right. Pretty happy with the pretty happy with that. Considering that this was the end mill I got from my X2, so it's it's quite used. Finishes pretty nice, pretty uh, pretty smooth. First cuts on the Precision Matthews 727M CNC. Uh, pretty promising. I'm pretty satisfied with the overall uh, cuts that were made. Uh, considering I had a old um, used bit in there, uh, she did pretty well. There are some issues that I can tell that I'm going to have to uh, try to get resolved. I do have a coolant leak in my tray. Uh, I think I know what the problem is. I just got to figure out a, the best way to go about resolving it. Uh, the oil, the oiler, uh, is leaking on the bottom here. And not real happy with that. I don't really want to have to deal with oil leaking into my coolant. I think I may switch this over to a grease system. Uh, still kind of hashing that out to see how well that's going to work out. I had an issue when I was running this part uh, with the mill kind of seemed like it was kind of hesitating or shuddering a little bit. Uh, didn't seem smooth and fluid as it was coming around this edge here. I think that I've got that problem corrected uh, in my general config. Uh, the constant velocity mode, I had it looking ahead only 20 lines which was default. And I think that was causing it to kind of shudder a little bit. So I bumped that up to 200. Uh, yeah, just still kind of going through the motions and trying to get this figured out. Uh, so far, so good. I've only ran it at 1,800 RPMs. But she seems to be cutting good at 1,800 RPMs. I think I machined this at 15 inches per minute at 1,800 RPMs. And it was a full depth of cut so that worked out okay if you guys are interested in a short case ramp for a Mike's reloading bench MRB case annealer uh, let me know and uh, I can machine one of these up for you it shouldn't be a problem 
Uh, Anthony, I'll get this. I'll shoot you an email. You should have this by the time this video airs, but I'll get you uh, uh, get yours sent out to you. So that wraps up this video. If you have any questions or suggestions, please feel free to comment. Thumbs up if you like the video. Please subscribe. Thanks for watching, and most importantly, be safe.